Tim, what's the plural of oryx? Oryx is its. Oryx I. Oryx I. Or Ories. <laughs> Oreos. <laughs> Oreos. Explore, experience, and enjoy Sea Line in a blend of traditional Arabian design and modern comfort. Create your memories in the desert and choose your package today at www.regencysealinecamp.com. Assalamu alaikum everyone, Mr. Kuyor from the neighborhood guitar here, and today we're going to be talking about the majestic Oryx. You might have seen this really cool looking dude named Ori on the Corniche. We'll talk about him later on, but let's talk about the real Oryx, the cool Oryx. The coolest kind. The Arabian Oryx, also known as the White Oryx, is the national animal of Qatar. Yes, not a camel. Everybody always thinks about camels. And if you want to know more information about camels, voila, it's right over there. Voila in Arabic is Manak. Over there. Here, camel, camel. An oryx is not a deer. It is not a horse. It is not its own species, but it is a variation of the antelope. Or the antelope. You know how you guys in Americans, you're like, with antelope roam. Home on the range. Home on the range, yeah. For us, it's completely different. Where the camels and oryxes go. Please stop it. It has gently curving horns and a triangle above its head and cheeks, like the, the last airbender. An airbender named Aang. Thing is though, whenever I take a look at those horns, I'm like, I do not want to get poked by that. Like, no way. But since they curve backwards, I think it would be pretty difficult for them to like, you know what I mean? Like they would have to like reverse, reverse into you. In the 1970s, the oryx was near extinction. However, in the 1980s, thanks to a great number of individuals and efforts, they are now considered nearly vulnerable. So it's still not that great, but better than before. Now, you might have noticed that the oryx is also in the logo of Qatar Airways. That's how important the animal is to us. And uh, you know what oryx is in Arabic? Maha. And that's why we've got the Al Maha service at the airport. It's the Oryx service. The more you know. Oryxes love the desert. That's where they live. And they love the heat so much, or they need the heat so much, that during winter, their legs go dark, like the chameleon legs, so that they can absorb more heat. Think about that for a second. I'll bet you didn't know that. I'll bet you didn't. Did you know that, Tim? No, I did not. I knew that. Another thing that's interesting about the oryx is that their skin has no glare or reflection, which makes it very difficult for a predator to spot them from far away. Billy, you know something. What is it? There's something out there waiting for us. Now, the oryx is actually quite a smart animal. And yes, I mentioned that they love the heat, but they also need to cool down when it gets super extra mega hot. And so what they do is they dig little ditches and then they sit inside them. Stay nice and cool. So not only does it keep them cool though, but when there are strong winds, it acts as a little bit of a barrier of protection. So next time you see an oryx sitting in a hole, you know what's up. You get back in your hole, think about what you did. Everyone needs an oryx. You know why? Because an oryx can smell when rain is coming. And so what they do is they're like, wait, you smell that? I smell odor. And then they get all the kids like, come on kids, let's go. And then they go to an area where they know that, you know, grass or something would grow after the rain and then they just chill out in that area. That's why you need Norks. They're like rain sensors, like natural rain sensors. A storm is coming. Another thing about the Oryx is that its tail is always swishing. It's always moving all over the place, even when it's at rest. Yeah, so it's not like when it's awake, it's like swishing its tail. No, no, even when it's chilling. What you are doing, cute. In 2006, that's when we got Ori the Oryx and that sculpture specifically for the Asian games. And now we have it on the corniche for everybody to go and enjoy and to go take a selfie with. Take a selfie. So if you're interested in going and taking a look at a real live Oryx, where you go to is the Al Khor Family Park and Zoo, the Ashua Reserve, which is also located in El Khor, the Adosiri Park and Nature Reserve, which has various types of oryx that you can take a look at. That's at Shahaniya. Then you've got El Maha Sanctuary, and that's where the oryxes are bred. So we'll put all of the different locations in the description down below if you want to go ahead and check them out. Now, everyone, you know everything you need to know about the Arabian oryx and Qatar's national 
Anima. Guys, if you like this episode, please don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and of course, subscribe and hit that bell button. Guys, please do share, because when you share, get the word out, we can make more episodes. Shukran, ma'asalamah.